Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Coco Styles and on this channel we talk about beauty, fashion, and lifestyle. But in today's video, I'm going to show you guys all the goodies that I got from Home Goods and from Target. So, I'm actually in the middle of creating like a YouTube studio because to be honest, moving cameras around and lighting around and clothes racks around and it's just a bit much so I would rather have everything stationed in one area so it'll be a lot easier for me to pretty much push out videos for you guys so I'm just gonna get started and don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button guys so let's just get to it I'm gonna start with mm, Target first um, I'm gonna start with Target because I got most of the um, same thing from there. So I got two ceramic bowls and two vases. Now I'm gonna tell you guys, I was at like four different targets um, and they were sold out. So I ended up going to a couple here where I live and just kind of getting them all that I needed. Um, so I'm just looking at the receipt now to see if it has the name on it. <clears throat> okay. So this is the first bowl that I got, guys. I hope you guys can see. It's very pretty. Um, it says white. But to me, I mean, it's white, but it has like slight hints of grays. So the look that I'm kind of going for, for the studio room, is kind of like a modern, uh, minimalist colors and stuff I'm gonna try but um something clean and sleek uh, I do have an office here and once I get off of work I don't want to film anything in there so this is why I'm gonna bring you guys along with me filming my new studio room so I got this and this was $30 and this is project 62 it's a footed bowl stoneware um, handcrafted of course each is unique this may be for the kitchen, but I'm probably going to use this on a bookshelf or something. Um, I may add some moss in here, like a moss pillow. Not too sure yet, but I did buy two of these. And again, this was 30 bucks. I'm going to link everything in the description box for you guys. I will say this: a lot of the things were sold out. Uh, well, they were going pretty fast. But I think you can order them online. So in store, they may be out of stock, but online, yes. But I hope you guys can really see it. It's really pretty. Um, so that's that one. And that's again from, uh, what did I say? Project 62. And you guys are going to hear all the bags rumbling. Because <laughs> I kind of got most of the stuff between two different days. And I didn't really take them out of the bag um so I got that from Target and then the other one which I'm gonna kind of I got two of those so two of those were 30 bucks and then I got this one here this vase this is the medium one there was a much taller one in there but I figured that this would be a good size for a bookshelf rack um you can put anything in here you can put um what do you call it like leaves or plant whatever twigs or whatever in here but I like this because it is a light color and again it's the same exact material as the bowl the footed bowl and this is just a boss um, again from project 62 and this one was $20 so I got two of these also and I'm gonna try my best to do like some sort of symmetry in here um <laughs> But I will, like I said, I'm going to bring you guys along with my whole journey and trying to build this room out um, and let you guys see it because it's going to be a process. I didn't want anything in my bedroom. I think my bedroom is sacred, so I didn't really want to film in there either. So it's just my opinion. Um, so that's from Target. And again, I got two of those. And I also got... Some more goodies from home goods so let's let's go with home goods so I do know where I live home goods they have a, a shipment on Thursdays I believe and um, 
I think Thursdays and Mondays. I'm 100% sure of Thursdays. However, there are multiple home goods near me and I decided to go to another one um, the other day and found some amazing pieces. It was like a kid in a candy store. But I ended up getting this cool little number here. Um, it's just a, a gold knot. And let me tell you guys, I really wanted two of them. I didn't think about it until I left. And if you guys know anything about home goods, the moment you decide to leave, your item is no longer going to be there. So when I went back to get the second one, of course it was gone. <laughs> so I just have one of these. If any of you guys can find one of these for me, oh, I would love it if you send it to me. Um, but this is just a nice little gold knot or whatever. I like this. And I ended up getting... A piece of I guess you would consider this like a piece of driftwood um I like this one it's very earthy it just looks like a piece of chunk from outside it's so amazing to me how nature is just like art and I probably could have found this outside it was $15 um, it's by botanical second nature but I like the colors um, what that that this is in um not a hundred percent sure if i'm going to keep it and i'm gonna tell you why so so this is more of like a brownish color it may work it's more of a brownish color um and that's from home goods so you guys know anything from home goods is really hard to link anything but you can google any of these things like driftwood and find something similar so the reason why I'm not sure about keeping that piece of wood, it may work, I'm not sure. It's because I bought this gorgeous, gorgeous piece here. And this is a cedar wood root. This is from the cedar wood root collection. This was $24.99 and it has a iron base. And I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. I don't know it was another one in there but I was more drawn to the colors on this one um and it's probably because of a book that I bought from home goods and I'll show you so I got this this piece of number so this was 25 and again I'm not sure if I will keep this and this they may be able to go together on different ends of my bookshelves but I don't I'm not too sure yet what I'm gonna do as far as keeping this I'm definitely keeping this though and then along with this, to bring in the same color, I also purchased, you guys hear all these bags? I also purchased a little, I don't know what you would call this. It's like a little, just a little accent bowl, I guess. And this was cheap, this was 10 bucks, but I thought this would be cute on the table together, uh, maybe a little bit far apart from each other, but they really do match up really well. It's not a set, of course, but I think I did a pretty good job with selecting it, but I think this is so nice. Um, my home is very, some areas are glam, my office is a little bit mo is modern, and then it's a little different, but this room is going to be different from those as well. But I love to decorate and just try new things out. So, again, home goods, guys. And let's see what else. So, that's some home goods. And, like I said, you know, it's very hard to find something that you find at home goods online again. So, also, okay. You guys know, home goods, they're just. You, they're just known for just like little cute little trinkets um i bought this little brass um like small vase um can you guys see that it's really small but i, I like it it's actually really made really well honestly it might be iron i don't know yeah, but of course they only have one of these. So I was thinking this with the gold knot kind of on different sides, it would pretty much go. 
but um i'm not sure if the color is coming up um but um it's a pretty gold color and this was twenty dollars not bad i like the quality of that and then i got some of these i'm not sure if this is a vase or a can not a vase might be a candle holder it might be a candle holder so this i bought two of these so you can i would probably put a candle in here or something um i don't know flowers it just depends on once i start decorating everything what i'm going to um go for but home goods and these were ten dollars very cheap not that much money um but i think they're cute yeah so i got two of these and now let's get to some of the books that i purchased from them let's tie this bag up because i don't want anything to break or crack on me so i'll be really upset and i won't be able to find it again so all right so that's that and all right so then let's get some of this stuff out of the way just a bunch of stuff guys so here goes the goodies so i've been looking for some really cool table um coffee table books and home goods is the place i did see this christian dior book that was about 129 but it was so nice oh my goodness it was gray so it really didn't go in my aesthetics in here but if it was 129 in the store it probably is probably 300 dollars online to be honest with you um i did end up getting this book here which the colors looking at it would not go with my room color but i'm going to actually pull off the um the, the case the cover sorry i'm gonna pull off the cover and put it on the bookshelf and save the covers of course and I'm going to show you guys the covers because I've been looking for some people to do like book coffee table review and take off the cover so you guys can see. But it's nice. Can you guys see? It says Vogue on Vacation. It's in black. Um, the side is in all black. So it's very pretty. Very pretty. And this you can get on Amazon. I can find this for you guys on Amazon. But if you didn't want to keep the cover, you can take it off. Or if you want, you can just use the side. And that's gray, silver, silver and black, which is still pretty cute, right? So I got that. Then I got, and that's both on location, people, places, and portraits. Then I got this one here. That And that was, what was that? 30. $4.99 for the Vogue. I know it's more money online. Um, and then I got Oasis Modern Desert Homes Around the World. Uh, and I and this one was $25. And the reason why I got this is because of the brown colors. And I believe it'll go perfect with something like this on a console table or something like that. And just kind of play with the colors and stuff. So that's what I'm going to do with that. And I'm going to try to find another book that has similar colors. And I believe the Kinfolks book. Um, not the actual cover of the book. But the book itself has a, like a pretty linen color. So those two books I got from Home Goods. And I also got... Now this other book... <laughs> I don't know... Okay... This book is called Hollywood in Kodachrome. I don't know who she is at all. I don't know who these people are. But the book is filled with pictures of like 
19, maybe 60s, 50s. Is that Ethel? Lucille Bell. Yes, it is her. <laughs> Ethel. <laughs> so, um, but I honestly got it for, not for what's in the book, the cover. I like it. I think it's cute. And I'm going to put it on my bookshelf. So let's just keep it all the way real. And this is by David Wills. This was 25 also. So most of the books is in it between 25 and 30 and 40. But you may come across like a Dior book. It was another Dior book that was a little pricey for home goods, but cheap because it's more expensive online. So that's three books that I have. And if you guys have any recommendations of any um, coffee table books or things for bookshelves, let me know. I'm looking for like white ones with black writing. And then I found this baby <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> And it was on my, it was actually in my Amazon bucket to purchase. And when I looked down, I saw this book. So it was $40, but online it's 70 bucks. So I think I hit the jackpot with this one. <laughs> um, I'm not gonna unwrap this one because it's just the book, but it has like some sort of, I don't know, like snake skin print on it. I don't know if you guys can really see it. Um, maybe I should just unwrap it for you guys. Yeah. The book is a little bit different as far as um, the material. But it's just a plain black book. What's this? And then the back of it has the same situation as the front. Alexander McQueen. And Oh, it's 90 bucks in the, in the U.S., but I paid 40 Yes. I think it's awesome. Let's see what's inside of here. Oh, it's very pretty. Oh, this is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful pictures. Like, I just love quality books, but I would recommend getting this along. I don't have the Tom Ford book, but it's on my wish list, so... I'm hoping in another week or so I can get it. Um, I've seen it for a really decent price too. So here's the Alexander McQueen book. And and that's also from Home Goods. But I, like I said, I can link the books in the description box because I've seen them all on Amazon or in some sort of bookstore somewhere. Um, but I could uh, try my best to find something similar to some of the other stuff like the driftwood and the other cedarwood root um, thing. And that's everything from Target and from Home Goods. But I am gonna show you one last thing and I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I'm only showing you guys because you guys are gonna see it in my room when I do the room tour. But I got some, this is, this is not really linen, but it has the look the look of linen but I don't know if you guys can really pick up the colors it's like a pretty beige color and what I'm gonna do is I have some books and I'm going to create some linen cover books I bought a little hot gun glue wish me luck with this <laughs> and I bought some material scissors yeah and um, these were by Singer I don't know. I'm going to try it out. I've seen a lady do it and it looks fairly easy. So you guys will see everything once I put everything together in here. And I hope you guys like it. But like I said, I'm going to bring you guys along with me as I'm filming the room and trying to get everything in order. I just need something that's easy to come in, do some content, and push it out as easy as I, as I can without interrupting my daily living. But... That's it guys. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please make any comments in the suggestion box or the comment box asking me or ask, telling me what you would like to see. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.